Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Madam Farah and have a great day. Welcome to our group presentation. My name is Nur Akila Zahida binti Muhammad Zubir and I am the leader of this group. The title of our group project is the data of vertebrates assessed and threatened. Before we are going to our presentation, I would like to introduce our introduce another two members, which is Nur Aishah binti Zaiful Insam Shah and Kura Tubalkis binti Rosli. First, let's look into the introduction. What are vertebrates? Vertebrates, also known as craniata, are animals that have backbones. Most of the animals are vertebrates, such as mammals, birds, reptiles amphibians and fish. Humans are also classified as vertebrates. The number of animals that were classified as vertebrates are a lot. Uh, thus, that makes them not facing any extinction at the moment. But that does not mean that they are not threatened. From data that we found, there are a lot of vertebrates that were threatened. Luckily, the number of vertebrates that were threatened are decreasing year by year. Most of the vertebrates were threatened because of humans. The larger vertebrates will suffer from human killing and the smaller one will face extinction. The data that our group found was data from the year 2002 until 2022 of number of species assessed and species assessed as threatened from IUCN red list since 1996. The data shows a uh, a lot of numbers from various species but our group specifies it into vertebrates only. Full data can be seen on the next slide. Let's move on to the next part which is implementation of each model. On my left is the data that we have specified from the big data our x variable is total of vertebrates assessed and our y variable is total of vertebrates threatened. The numbers uh, were so big that we make it small by dividing it per 1000 population and we did three models which is linear model, quadrat quadratic model and cubic model. Let's look into the linear model first. My name is Nur Aisha binti Zafri Izzam Shah. So first, I will begin with the basic mathematic linear, which is the linear model. As we know, the equation of the linear model is y equal to a plus bx. Therefore, the 20 data that we get, we can substitute the value x and y into the linear equation. After that, we can set up the matrix of m with the dimension uh, 20 by 2 with matrix of y with the dimension 20 by 1. Transfer of matrix m with the matrix m and we multiply with the a and b so we will get the multiply of transfer of matrix m and matrix y. So next, the least square solution is we must find the a and b. So first, we must search the inverse of the multiply transfer of matrix m and m. After that, we multiply with the transfer matrix M and matrix so Next, we will find the error vector. So, as we know, the equation of the error vector is E equal to Y minus M multiplied with the answer of the least equation solution. So, the answer, the answer of the error vector that we get is 0 0.3818731419254 735737 Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Kuratu Batis Mitrosli. Next, I will continue to explain about the quadratic model. Quadratic model is one of the mathematical model represented by quadratic equation which is y equals to a plus bx plus cx squared. Alright, here there is 20 data which will we put it into the quadratic equation and we will get the metric form as shown in this slide okay for the matrix m we will fill the first column with the value of 1 uh, the second column with the 
value of x and the third column is from the value of x squared. Okay, the next step is, it is just the same as the linear model. First, we need to find the value of m transpose m and the value of m transpose y. And then we, we substitute into the normal equation. Okay, to find the least square solution, first we need to inverse the m transpose m and then multiply with the m transpose y to find the best fit linear curve. Okay, as shown in the slide, we get the, the best fit linear curve is y equals to 2.722 plus 0.106x plus 0.000428x squared. Lastly, we find the error vector by using formula E equals to Y minus MV. After we calculate using the formula and get and got the answer from the maple, we get we get the value of magnitude of E equals to 0 0.291899383908031. 4, 9, Topic model is y equals to a plus bx plus cx square plus dx cube. For the matrix M, the first column we put the number 1 as usual, the second column is the x value, the third column is x square value, and the fourth column is the x cube value. Multiplies it with b and matrix y and equals to matrix y matrix y we took from the y variable from the data for cubic model to find the normal equation is just the same as linear model and quadratic model which is um, m transpose m multiply with the vector and equals to m transpose y to find the least square solution we need to inverse the m transpose m and multiply it with m transpose y and we will get 4 value from the 4 value we substitute into the equation and lastly we will get y equals to 2.408 plus 0.152x plus sorry minus 0.001208 square plus 0.0000164x cube. The last step is to count the error vector. Same like previous model, the, the formula is y minus mv. The, error vec the magnitude of error vector for cubic model is 0.244878. 4814799891411 uh, We can see the graph of the linear model So at my right hand side We can see the graph of the best fit curve Against the observed data for the linear model And my right hand side is the graph of the error vector Against the x value for the linear model Okay, here This is the graph of the best fit curve against observed data for the quadratic model and here this is the graph of the error vector against x value for the quadratic model on my left is the graph of best fit curve against observed data for cubic model and on my right is the graph of error vector against x value for cubic model the last part of the presentation is the analysis and conclusion. Based on the three models that we have seen on the previous slide, the following error magnitude in the approximation are obtained and can be seen on the table above. From the three models, the best fit curves in this case which gives the best approximation is the cubic model because it gives the minimum error in terms of its magnitude. On my left is the projected graph of the best fit curve against its observed data that produces the least error. That's all from our group. Thank you for listening.